Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Destiny 2. So, if my calculations are correct, I went to sleep, I've come back on. My assumption is we're going to be well above what we needed for this community event. Yep, we're at 809 million. <laughs> Not surprising. Uh, I guess what that means is let's go to the tower and have a look at this thing. But then we can go to the Elixir Quarter and we can uh, check out all the upgrades in one video, I suppose. Uh, I really hope these upgrades are actually, like, substantial upgrades and not kind of like, we added a few things. Eh. Um, we'll see, I guess. I mean, it's not looking substantially different. Back here. Interesting. I'm pretty sure Spider owns the Mona Lisa, technically. Um, but I don't. <laughs> I do wonder whether or not is the Mona Lisa copyright. I, I I don't know how that works when you put it into a game. Um, but in lore, he owns the Mona Lisa. Apparently, also I've turned my audio down. Apologies for that, but I do it all the time. Because unless I'm actually recording or I'm playing PvP, my sound is always very very low. This is cool. Look there. The first Elix need to undergo Vanguard security training. Yes, there was some unrest when Igora first welcomed us here. But this is about more than security. The Elix need are being accepted by the tower. The hatchlings. And children of the city now see human and Elixni faces protecting them. May they serve with pride. It is something that's worth noting as well, is there's there's actually like humans down here in this bar, right? Like they're down here with the Elixni, right? Which previously wasn't happening. Um where's the next one up here? Yeah, Mithrax, we can put some flags up. Go us. I will say this. <laughs> this is great and all, and I like the lore, but this is very disappointing upgrade to this place. <laughs> very disappointing. <laughs> uh. I thought they kind of just survived purely off ether, but maybe they do eat as well, I don't know. Although, as he said, the garden is more about, like, it's a community garden, right? The idea is community togetherness more so than an actual garden, but...
Also, these guys have like the, the Rasputin plating on them, which is interesting lore-wise. Different color, I think, but generally speaking, they're still like Rasputin bots. At least model-wise, which is intriguing, to say the least. Oh. The church? This simple place, a town square, you may call it, but to us, it is so much more. A place for community meetings. But I do. An open air school. There will be. It's honestly hard to tell, I'll be honest. Forms, debates. And I will invite all the citizens of the last city to attend. Spider, there is it here. Standing in defiance of the conflicts of our past. Hmm. May this signal a new era of understanding for all. Who live beneath the great machine. Thank you, Guardian. For you have performed the greatest of kindnesses. And this here was the raid boss, right? From, um... You know, that raid that I can't remember the name of. Um... Interesting. Well, I mean, that's cool, I guess, but honestly kind of boring. Let's go talk to Spider, see if he has any new dialogue. Hey, buddy. What catches your eye? Nope. Nothing unique there. So I guess that's just it. I mean, fine, I guess. I don't know, I just feel like... Like, make this less rubbly, you know? Like, the amount of treasure that we donated. You could have done so much more with this. Oh well. It's fine. Only slightly disappointing for a community event, but whatever. Uh, also, the reason we got so high so quickly, by the way, was there was a cheese. Um, I'll link to the cheese forever video, I won't go over it now, but essentially it involves... I say I'm not going to go over it now, and then I immediately go over it. Uh, if you go into your Captain's Atlas, because we can uh, deliver treasure coordinates, essentially what you can do, if you have the plundered... Um, if you have the rumored treasure map, when you equip the rumored treasure map, when you do have another one equipped, it will give you additional coordinates and map fragments. I don't know if they've patched it yet, but... Because I'm currently sitting at max, but... I guess, honestly, I can just go check, hey. So if we go here and we go over here... Donate 235 treasure coordinates. So that adds 235 to my donation, and then we go into inventory... Uh, sorry. First. My god, please fix menus in the tower. Wait a little longer, there we go, okay. Uh, so previously, if we did this... Yeah, it's not fixed. As you see in the in the middle there, my treasure coordinates are slowly going up. So you can just keep doing that until you hit uh, the cap again and then rinse and repeat. Not that I currently really feel the need to, but that is something that you can do. I am kind of intrigued. So there is still kind of a reason to collect coins in that you can get these boxes. These boxes are relatively worth it. I'm just going to dump all of my helium fragments in here. And all my barium bell. Goodbye. Um... Did that count? Yeah, I've now done 6,400. Nice. Uh, also, we're at 813,596,742. And people are probably trying to get to a billion, if I were to hazard a guess. Uh, it's interesting. Well, I guess there is still reason to get coins because of this. I guess it just means that there's no reason to donate coins outside of getting this, though, is the thing. 
So you should do them in groups of thousand, I suppose. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. Um, kind of disappointing event, to be honest, but you know, whatever. It's fine. It gave me some random... Gave me some random things and allowed me to dump some of my plundering materials. So I guess that's... That's good, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> see you next time, guys.